Studies show this is the number one reason that people visit Lee County, the beach. The sand and the water may look clean at first sight, but what about the things we can't see with our naked eye? I'm Anvar Bruziev, and as your Fort Myers Beach community correspondent, I set to find out what's in the Fort Myers Beach water. Over the last five years, more than 50 volunteers have worked with the Florida Gulf Coast University's Marine Science Department to test water around Estero Island. This study, called What's in the Water, was funded by local donors and federal grants, not by corporations. At 46 different sites on the island, they looked at things like how cloudy the water is and how many nutrients like nitrogen and phosphorus are in it really just to kind of take a snapshot around the island and see what water quality is on any given day. Dr. Parsons says they did not see a strong link between fresh water from the Caloosahatchee River and poor water quality. This suggests that the river may not be the main reason for red tide here. When we were looking at the data with our study, we didn't see a really strong signal linking salinity, low salinity fresh water with high nutrients. Parsons says that the cloudy water is often caused by wind or boats stirring up sand and sediment. Still, scientists keep watching nutrients, especially nitrogen, to help prevent algal blooms. They also plan to install a new real-time water monitoring system on Fort Myers Beach soon to track changes day by day. And for more information about Fort Myers Beach water quality, you can visit fox4now.com. Reporting from Fort Myers Beach, Anvar Ruziev, Fox 4.